Good morning. Welcome to the Daily Office. Thanks for joining me. I'm Brother Bill, and this is Morning Prayer for Sunday, November the 28th. It's the first Sunday in Advent, and week one in the Psalm Cycle. Today, we start a new church year. Open my lips, my mouth shall declare your praise. Alleluia, praise God, O oh, my soul. Alleluia. Psalm 146, and please recite it with me. Actually, it's 146 and 147. Alleluia, praise God, O oh my soul. While I live, I will praise you. I will sing praises to you while I have any being. Put not your trust in rulers, nor in the children of the earth, in whom there is no help. They die and they return to the earth. In that very day their thoughts perish. Happy they that have the God of Jacob, Leah, and Rachel for their help, whose hope is in their God, who made heaven and earth, the sea and all that is therein, who keeps truth forever, who executes judgment for the oppressed, and who gives food to the hungry. God sets the prisoners free. God opens the eyes of the blind. God raises those that are bowed down. God loves the righteous. God preserves strangers. God saves the orphan and widow, but the way of the wicked God turns upside down. And God shall reign forever, your God, O Zion, to all generations. Alleluia. Praise God most high, for it is good to sing praises to our God, for it is pleasant and praise is beautiful. The most high builds up Jerusalem and gathers together the outcasts of Israel. O oh God, you heal the brokenhearted and bind their wounds. You fix the number of the stars and call them each by their names. You were great and powerful, and your understanding is infinite. You lift the meek and cast down the wicked to the ground. Sing to the Most High with thanksgiving. Sing praise upon the harp to our God, who covers the heavens with clouds, who prepares rain for the earth who makes grass to grow upon the mountains. O oh God, you give food to the beasts and to the young ravens which cry. You delight not in the strength of the horse, nor take pleasure in the legs of a warrior. You take pleasure in them that fear you, in those that hope in your mercy. Praise the Most High, O Jerusalem. Praise your God, O Zion. For God strengthened the bars of your gates and blessed your children within you. God makes peace in your borders and fills you with the finest wheat. O oh God, you send forth your word upon the earth, and it runs swiftly. You give snow white like wool and scatter the frost like ashes. You cast forth ice like morsels. Who can stand before the cold? <clears throat> you send out your word and melt them, and cause the wind to blow and the waters to flow. You show your word to Jacob, Leah, and Rachel, your statutes and judgments to Israel. You have not dealt so with any other nation, and as for your judgments, they have not known them. Alleluia. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. Praise God, O oh my soul. Alleluia. A reading from the prophet Amos, chapter 1, beginning at verse 1. The words of Amos, who was among the shepherds of Tekoa, which he saw concerning Israel in the days of King Uzziah of Judah, and in the days of King Jeroboam, the son of Joash of Israel, two years before the earthquake. Judgment on Israel's neighbors. And he said, The Most High roars from Zion, and utters his voice from Jerusalem. The pastures of the shepherds wither, and the top of Carmel dress up, dries up. Thus says the Most High, For three transgressions of Damascus, and for four, I will not revoke the punishment, because they have threshed Gilead with threshing sledges of iron. So I will send a fire on the house of Hazel, and it shall devour the strongholds of Ben-Hadad. I will break the gate bars of Damascus and cut off the inhabitants from the valley of Aben. 
and the one who holds the scepter from Beth Aden, and the people of Aram shall go into exile to Ker, says the Most High. Thus says the Most High for three transgressions of the Ammonites, and for four, I will not revoke the punishment, because they have ripped open pregnant women in Gilead in order to enlarge their territory. So I will kindle a fire against the wall of Rabbah, fire that shall devour its strongholds, with shouting on the day of battle, with a storm on the day of the whirlwind. And then their king shall go into exile, he and his officials together, says the Most High. Thus says the Most High, for three transgressions of Moab and for four, I will not revoke the punishment, because he burned to lime the bones of the king of Edom. So I will send a fire on Moab, and it shall devour the strongholds of Kerioth, and Moab shall die amid uproar. Amid shouting and the sound of the trumpet, I will cut off the ruler from its midst, and I will kill all its officials with him, says the Most High. Judgment on Judah Thus says the Most High, for three transgressions of Judah, and for four, I will not revoke the punishment, because they have rejected the law of the Most High, and have not kept his statutes. But they have been led astray by the same lies after which their ancestors walked. And so I will send a fire on Judah, and it shall devour the strongholds of Jerusalem. Here ends the lesson. Defend us, and we shall shout for joy, for we put our trust in you. Merciful God, teach us your ways. Keep us from all sin today. Save your people and bless your inheritance. Feed us and lift us up forever. We sing of your power and mercy in the morning. You are our refuge in times of trouble. We place our hope in you, for with you is mercy and plenteous redemption. Every day we bless you. We praise your name forever and ever, and for all of your intentions. Our beloved, which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Alleluia, blessed are you, God of Israel. You have come to your people and set us free. Alleluia. The Song of Zechariah, and please recite it with me. Alleluia, blessed are you, God of Israel. You have come to your people and set us free. You have raised for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of your servant David. Through your holy prophets you promised of old that you would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. You promised to show mercy to our ancestors and to remember your holy covenant. This was the oath you swore to Abraham and Sarah, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship you without fear holy and righteous in your sight all the days of our lives. And you, my child, shall be called prophet of the Most High, for you will go before our God to prepare the way, to give the people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness in the shadow of death, to guide our feet into the way of peace. Alleluia. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. Blessed are you, O God of Israel. You've come to your people and set us free. Alleluia. 
We trust in the mercy of God forever. And may God bless us and protect us. May God shine his face upon us and be gracious to us. May God favor us and grant us peace. Source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit. Amen. Alleluia.